In this video, I'll be painting a Ravenwing Outrider. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and for this video, we're going to be painting this Outrider Biker. And specifically, I'm going to be painting it in the Ravenwing color scheme. Looking forward to seeing how it turns out, so without further ado, let's get going. After assembling the model, the first thing that I did was I primed it with Gray Sear Spray Paint. Next, we're going to paint the armor plating on the bike, as well as most of the Space Marine armor in Abaddon Black. Next, we're going to paint the following areas with Corvus Black. The tires on the bike except for the rims, the gaps in the armor such as around the elbow and the shoulders, the belts around the waist, as well as on the back, although it's kind of hard to see here, the exhaust ports on the backpack including the round ones and the square ones, and then the pommel of the chainsword. Just a quick note, I also painted this cylinder on the belt in Corvus Black as well. Now we're going to be using Lead Belcher to paint the following areas. Most of the unpainted areas of the bike including where the Marine sits, the exhaust pipes, but not the casing for the pipes. The handlebar, except for where the Marine actually grips the bar, the handle of the gun in the holster, as well as the buttons here in the middle and at the bottom, the bottom half of the bolters in the front including the barrels, and this ammo loader on the side, the rims of the tires, and this little circle area that's on top of the rims, the pipes and other metal areas around the helmet, the chainsaw teeth and engine, and lastly, we're going to dry brush the edges of the exhaust ports on the backpack.
So one other thing I forgot to mention is that we need to also paint the skull cross symbol here in Lead Belcher as well. Next we're going to paint the exhaust pipe casing with Brass Scorpion. Next, we're going to paint the lights that are on the front of the bike in Retributor Armor. Next, we're going to be using Mornfang Brown to paint the following areas. The leather part of the gun holster the square pouch on the belt, and the padding on the seat. Now we're going to be using corn red on the following areas. The top half of the bolters on the front, the grips on the handlebar, and the casing on the chainsaw. Now we're going to be applying Warp Stone Glow on this rectangular panel at the center of the handlebars. Next we'll be applying Wraith Bone to the following areas. The purity seal, the chest aquila, and the eyes on the helmet. Now we're going to use Corax White to paint over all the buttons on the handlebar. For the next several steps, I'll be doing some edge highlighting, dry brushing, and applying shade and contrast paints. However, before I do that, I'm going to go over my model and correct any errors that I may have made. Okay, I think it looks a lot cleaner now. Next, we're going to edge highlight the Space Marine armor using Fenrisian Grey.
Next, we're gonna edge highlight the armor plating of the bike using Dawnstone. Now we're going to apply Null Oil to the following areas. Anything that's painted in Lead Belcher, in Brass Scorpion, Mornfang Brown, as well as the grips on the handlebar. Next, we're going to use Skeleton Horde to paint the paper part of the Purity Seal and the Chestaquila. Next, we're going to use Dark Angel's Green and Frost Hard Contrast Paint to paint some, but not all, the buttons on the handlebar. Next, we're going to use Blood Angel's Red to paint the wax part of the purity seal 
the eyes on the helmet, and the remaining buttons on the handlebar. Just a quick note, if you would prefer to use different colors for the buttons on the handlebar, feel free to do so. Lastly, we're going to dry brush the tire treads using Storm Vermin Fur. So, here's my completed Dark Angels Outrider painted in the Ravenwing color scheme, and as usual, I just wanted to make a few comments on it. First off, although I played Space Marines a long, long time ago, this is actually the first bike unit I've ever painted. The Outrider is a cool looking model, and I'm thinking of painting more bikes in the future. The other thing to note is that, in hindsight, I should have switched the order of the paints that I used. As you saw in the video, I painted the model with Abaddon Black first, before using Lead Belcher. However, I should have used Lead Belcher first, since the areas that needed that paint are harder to get to, and so I accidentally painted some of the Abaddon Black areas in Lead Belcher when I shouldn't have. This of course, increased the amount of touch-ups that I had to do. All that being said, I think the final product turned out pretty well, and I hope you agree with me on that. Anyways, that's the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.